plastic surgery set you free? My nose job set me free. Not only am I able to breathe easily now, but it also makes me look real good, too. Plastic surgery can set you free. Like, if you're a criminal and you're on the run and then you get plastic surgery to look like somebody else, right? 35-year-old Maria Linda feels trapped by the appearance of her nose. I do think people judge me based on how I look. I've seen shows where that actually has happened and they've proven that because somebody may have a bigger nose and they're treated differently because of it. So that makes me think, has that happened to me? I'm tiny, pretty much from head to toe, and this just stands out and I don't think it's attractive or pretty to look at. Now Maria Linda wants surgery to change her nose's size and shape. I just feel like my nose protrudes out. This is something that does bother me. I like to have a different nose. In a hidden camera experiment, we'll find out if reaction to a grocery shopper changes when we change her nose from sweet to beaked. A study from Elmhurst College in the U.S. into what makes women attractive reveals that the nose should make up less than 5% of the total area of the face. I feel that my ski slope nose takes away from my potential beauty. Sometimes when I meet people, I think they're thinking, oh, she's pretty, too bad about her nose. I actually like a big nose. On a guy, a big nose? You know what they say about a big nose? <laughs> big nose, lots of Kleenex. Oren Amate teaches psychology at the University of Toronto. People make judgments about other people's character within a tenth of a second of seeing their face. So an unattractive nose can negatively influence what others think of you. 35-year-old Maria Linda thinks that her nose is unattractive. If I turn my face to the side, the first thing I notice is my big nose. It's got the bump. It's quite long. I notice that my nostrils are even long. What bothers me the most about it is it's totally unproportioned to my face and my size. Basically, when I'm getting dressed or I'm getting ready, what I'm trying to accomplish is to not make it stand out so much. Maybe something that's going to hide it a little bit more, be it a different hairstyle or, you know, a hat where the focus is going to be somewhere else other than my nose. Now Maria Linda is undergoing surgery to reshape her nose. I don't want a totally different face because it's evident our nose is in the middle of our face and if that was drastically changed, I would drastically look different and I don't want to look drastically different. I'm looking for my nose just smaller. A study by the Oregon Social Learning Center reveals that physically attractive people are perceived to be more dominant in social hierarchies than physically unattractive people. In a hidden camera experiment, we put this study to the test. We're sending Lisa and her attractive sweet nose to a busy downtown mall to pose as a shopper to find out what percentage of passers-by sweet-nosed Lisa can dominate into sniffing a suspect carton of milk. For the record, I am not smelling anyone's milk. Excuse me, smell that? I think it's spoiled. It's yeah. Not, yeah, spoiled. Okay, thanks. Had my way with that boy. He came right over to smell my milk. Excuse me, hi. Can you smell this? I think it's gone bad. I can't tell. Does it smell like it's spoiled? I don't know. I don't. I wouldn't trust it, though. Yeah, me neither. OK, I'll take it back. Thanks, guys. Can you smell this? I think it's spoiled. This guy's eager. He's getting his entire face in there. Let me just uh, really check. Oh, it's rotten. Ew, yeah. yeah, OK. Well, I'll take it back. Thanks. He sniffed, and he sniffed real good. Can you smell this? I think it's gone bad. Sweet Nose Lisa has no problem dominating passers-by. I can't tell. What do you think? It smells all right. Yeah, you think so? OK. All right, thank you. Oh, I could have gotten him to do whatever I wanted. Will everyone be dominated by Sweet Nose Lisa? Hi. Can you 
smell this. I think it's spoiled. No? Well, I couldn't dominate him. Excuse me? Can you smell this? I think it's spoiled. No? Smell that? I think it's spoiled. Can you smell this? I think it's spoiled. Wow, that was the dirtiest look I've ever gotten. No dominating Batman. Smell that? I think it's spoiled. But Sweet Nose Lisa did dominate 87% of passersby she approached into smelling the milk. I think it's gone bad. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. What else can a pretty girl make people do? Can you tell me if these bullets are deadly? I cannot believe how many people I dominated into smelling my milk. It may seem like an odd request, but people just did what I asked. You smell this? I think it's spoiled. Yeah. Yeah, I'll true. take it back. OK, thanks. Aw, uh, I could have got him to carry my shopping bags home if I wanted to. Maria Linda thinks her nose dominates her face, so she's undergoing surgery to change its size and shape. Rhinoplasty is something that I've always wanted to do. I have probably wanted to do it as young as I can remember, maybe in my late teens. Then life just goes on and you go to school, get married, whatever, and you tend to forget about all those things. And that's what I did. I kind of forgot about myself and, you know, what I really wanted for myself. And now having been, you know, divorced and I'm living my own life and being 35 years old, it's, it's time. I don't think that Maria Linda needs a nose job. When I look at her, I don't see her nose as a flaw that needs to be corrected in order to make her beautiful because I think she's beautiful already. But I think that if the nose job is important to her, you know, moving forward from her divorce, then I think she should do it. I have found myself again, my true self, and this is something that I've wanted to do and I'm going to do it now. This is the time for me. The University of Michigan reports that exposure to media can lead young women to measure their self-worth and happiness by their physical appearance. Being proud of your appearance does help with your self-worth, and there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, it's nice to look nice. <laughs> That's what my mother tells me every, every single day. Studies show that women self-objectify more than men do. While the exact reasons are unknown, what is known is that as women get older, they are far less likely to see themselves as simply a collection of body parts. In the second part of our hidden camera test, we're transforming Lisa's nose from sweet to beaked. Mm. and her unattractive beaked nose back to the downtown mall to pose as a shopper to find out what percentage of passers-by beaked nose Lisa can dominate into sniffing a suspect carton of milk. If the research is correct and attractive people are perceived to be more socially dominant, then beaked nose Lisa may find that fewer passers-by will submit to her request to smell the milk. I like to call this portion of the show, Attack of Bird Girl. Excuse me. I think there's, you smell that? Does it smell stale? <laughs> no, you don't want to smell it? Mm, I guess I couldn't dominate her. She clearly didn't like my nose. Excuse me. Smell this, will you? Oh, no. It smells like it's spoiled. No? Hmm. Couldn't dominate him. Excuse me. Smell this? I think it's stick. No. He didn't want nothing to do with my nose or my milk. Excuse me? Can you smell that? So far, Beaked Nose Lisa is unable to dominate passers by. No. Hi. We smell this, will ya? Does it smell like it's spoiled? Yeah. Yeah? I thought so. Can you smell this? I think it's stale. Yeah. You think so? It doesn't smell great. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> I didn't even have to get up for her to smell my milk that time. Smell that, will ya? I think it's spoiled. 
It is. Yeah? You think? Yeah. 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 Does it smell stale? Mmm. Yeah. Yeah. Beak to Nose Lisa yeah. dominated 73% of passersby into smelling the carton of milk. That's less than the 87% of passersby who smelled the milk for Sweet Nose Lisa. It was not as easy to dominate people this time. I got some weird looks. I didn't seem to get the warm kind of welcome that I got the first time around. Smell that? It smell spoiled, I think. Yeah. No, you're not interested. You're not interested in my nose. That's what he's not interested in. Dr. Philip Solomon is a facial plastic surgeon practicing in Toronto. He'll be preparing Maria Linda today for surgery to reshape her nose. Maria? Hey, how are you? How are you? So when I look at your nose, what I see is the nose is a little bit over projected and mm -hmm. stands out a little bit far from the face. So if you were to measure the distance from the cheek out to the tip, that's slightly excessive. It's got a bump on the bridge, which has some irregularities to it. Mm -hmm. The bones are just a little bit wide on each side where the cheek and the uh, nose meet. What I would propose we do is try to set the tip back slightly, mm -hmm. take some of the bridge down, narrow the bones, and at the same time do the work internally. I just want a smaller version of what I have, if possible, with the extra little things that we can straighten out, but I don't want, you know, somebody else's nose. Okay, good. Well, it sounds like we're on the same wave like that. Nose reshaping surgery is not without risk, Maria Linda could face complications, breathing problems. Changing the structure of the nose can result in permanent breathing problems, loss of smell. Injury to nasal nerves during surgery can cause a loss of smell. Cardiac arrest. Undergoing a general anesthetic can cause some patients to suffer a heart attack. Maria Linda is willing to take on the risks of nose reshaping surgery. Her brother Corey and sister-in-law Nadia accompany her to the hospital on surgery day. I'm excited and extremely nervous. Nervous and anxious. I have many fears about the surgery. The first one is just having the, you know, the surgery done. It's frightening because I'm sure there's a few things that could go wrong. I, I know of the severities that could go wrong. And then, of course, the second thing is the outcome. You know, I don't want anything worse. I want something better. And I'm in the hopes that, you know, it's going to look better than what it is right now. I just want to be able to look in the mirror. And if I'm turning to the side, you know, I don't notice my nose. <laughs> the American Society for Aesthetic Plastic Surgeons reports that 80% of both women and men say they would not be embarrassed if others knew they'd had cosmetic surgery. I've had rhinoplasty, jaw surgery, Botox, and my lips injected several times, and I'm proud of it. I got a nose reconstruction, jaw surgery, and Botox, and I don't care who knows. Research from the US reports that 70% of teens and young adults approve of cosmetic surgery but only 40% of people aged 65 and over approve of cosmetic surgery. We're going to a downtown bowling alley to ask young women, do you approve of plastic surgery? Plastic surgery, it depends, right? If it's for, you know, sort of nip and tucking, no one will notice, I approve. But if it's something where you're completely adjusting your own character, I disapprove. Approve. Maybe not right now, but when I am 80 and stuff uh, does start to hang, I will get it cut and tucked. When you're 80? Yeah, you know, when I settle down. Do you approve of plastic surgery? Yes, I do. If it's a want and not a need, then I think it's safe. But when you turn plastic surgery into a need, it becomes an obsession. I do approve of plastic surgery. When I'm older, if I need to be nipped and tucked, I'll definitely get nipped and tucked. If I have kids, I'm getting nipped and tucked. I definitely approve. I would approve because it would raise your self-confidence and your life would be better in that way. I definitely approve of plastic surgery. You can have a surgery that's like life-changing to improve the way you look, to improve the way you feel about yourself. I approve of plastic surgery. Um, I think it's important to be comfortable with yourself. I approve. I definitely approve. I think everybody should have the opportunity to feel beautiful and to make themselves beautiful however they see fit. 
I would approve if it makes someone more confident. Um, you just have to be careful about whether or not it gets addictive. 100% of these young women approve of plastic surgery. Will these older women approve? Hi, good morning. Good morning. How are you? How are you? Maria Linda approves. She's undergoing surgery to reshape her nose. As far as being scared or nervous on a scale of 1 to 10, I would definitely say that I'm a 10. It's nerve-wracking because there's a, there's an outcome. It's You're going to see it. It's there. It's going to be right in my face, and you can't avoid it. That's what makes me really, really nervous. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye. You too. I've wanted to do this surgery for a really long time. I guess I really never had the guts to do it, and finally, you know, I'm definitely going through with it today. Dr. Solomon begins by separating tissue from the nose's bone and cartilage. He then removes fat and cartilage from each side of the tip of Maria Linda's nose to shorten it. Additional cartilage and bone is removed from the bridge to reshape it. So now here's the bone. And the bridge is filed to give it a smooth appearance. It's very light. Finally, Again. Dr. Solomon breaks Again. bones and repositions Again. them to straighten Maria Linda's nose. Yes. Okay. Maria Linda's nose reshaping surgery took two hours to complete. Is Dr. Solomon happy with the result? The surgery went as planned. Um, technically, it was straightforward, but she had uh, somewhat difficult anatomy to uh, work with. But I think everything went fine. It will be six months before Maria Linda's swelling subsides, and she sees the full result of her nose reshaping surgery. The National Women's Health Resource Center reveals that more than 40% of women seek to improve their appearance after a significant life transition, such as a divorce. After my divorce, I worked out super hard for my body, and I'm planning on getting implants to perfect my looks. Post-divorce plastic surgery. For the woman that's saying, not only do I not want you anymore, I could deal with a little less me. 75% of divorced people remarry. Because society values youth, many people undergo plastic surgery in order to look younger and therefore more attractive to potential partners. We're going back to the downtown bowling alley to ask older women, do you approve of plastic surgery? No, I disapprove. Well, I don't think we should monkey with ourselves. Why would you want to use a knife to fix yourself up? Let's not monkey with our business. Me too, sister. I leave it alone, it leaves me alone. I disapprove. Well, if a person was in a bad accident to help them look better, but not just for beauty's sake, approve. It's all depends on the individual. For myself, I would not. I'm going all with grace, that's all. I approve. I wouldn't mind just a little bit to take away the wrinkles. <laughs> I approve. I approve of it if you really need it. <laughs> disapprove. I disapprove. For cosmetic reasons, no. I approve. If the person wants it, I guess so. If I had the money, maybe yes. Yes, I do approve. If, if they need it for cosmetic reasons, even. You know, if it doesn't harm them. 56% of these older women approve of plastic surgery, much less than the 100% of younger women surveyed. It's been six months since Maria Linda underwent nose reshaping surgery. Maria Linda's nose is now smaller. The tip of her nose is shorter and Maria Linda's bridge is straighter. 
I am very satisfied with the results of the surgery. I think it was fantastic and I'm very content. When I look at my side profile now in the mirror, I don't see that big nose. I see something that belongs to my face. I can put my hair up, I can wear a hat, and I don't worry about, oh, how's it gonna look today when I feel great when I go out? The recovery process was not that bad as much as I thought it was gonna be. I wasn't a walk in the park. Two or three weeks of a little bit of discomfort, a little bit of swelling, a little bit of, you know, dry blood. But other than that, it was not that bad. Has plastic surgery set Maria Linda free? Prior to the surgery, I was always thinking about my nose and how it looked. And now having done it, it's absolutely what I thought it was going to be. It's an absolute sense of freedom for me. I feel so much better. It belongs on my face. My face is small, my features are small, and now my nose, it's not a tiny, tiny nose, but it's much smaller than it was, and it feels so much better. I'm so happy that I went through with it.